Hello friends, how are you doing today? So it's been uh, three weeks since the last video, so I'd like to share a new project uh, I'm working on recently. So it's related to the Google Form. Okay, so actually it's uh, related to Google Form uploaded files. Okay, so by default, when you upload some files uh, in Google Form, all the files will be uh, saved on your Google Drive in in a folder, okay? So all the files in one folder and uh, maybe you need to do some uh, organization, maybe uh, uh, put them in a different folder and uh, by time or by day or by month, by whatever and uh, this project we're going to do that for you, okay? So let me show you. So this is a form. I only have three uh, input fields here. So first one is email address. And the second one is called folder, but you can you can name it whatever whatever you like. So basically, whatever you select or you entered here will be the folder name. So for the files you uploaded here. So let's try to upload the. Let's try to select a folder in Excel and uh, upload some files. Okay. Let's try to upload the uh, logo image here. Upload. So this, uh, this Excel folder is just a folder name, not the file type. Okay. So you can you can upload whatever uh, image type here, but you also, you can set up the file type in this in the settings I, I think. Okay, so I have the okay. This is a record field. Let's put a email here. Let's let's put my email. Maybe I'm a test email here. Okay, so let's try to submit. So by default, the file should be should be uploaded here, as you can see. Uh, as you can see now, we have a folder called Excel, and with the file just uploaded. And if you see this icon here, that means the file is also shared with someone. So let's try to share. So as you can see, the email address I entered here. Is the person I like to share uh, the uploaded file with? Okay, so basically we have two features in this project. So, so uh, classify the uploaded files by folder and share the uploaded file to the respondent. So two main features in this project. Okay, so now let's show you how to uh, make a copy of this tool. For your project, okay. So you, you you can add more, you can add more questions in this form. So this basically this is a this is three must have field for this project. So you can add more, add more options, add, add more questions uh, in your form. Uh, that we are going we are not going to break this project, this uh, this tool. Okay. So let me show you how to do it. So first, you need to uh, create a form in on your Google Drive. So let's go back to the folder here. So let's create a new form. Create a new form for YouTube demo. Okay. okay let's call it uh, demo. What the heck? Demo form for YouTube. So uh, you need to make sure this email address is turned on if you'd like to share the files with the respondent. You can turn it off if you don't want to share the files with the respondent. Okay, you can do the turn this on or off here in the settings. So I like to keep it on. So the question here for the first one. So by default, 
uh, the name should be folder, but you can rename it whatever you like. So let's try to use name, maybe the name, what's your name? So, so this one we're going to use for the folder. So you can use an, uh, any single input here. So here I can use the short name for the input and uh, I'd like to make it require field. And uh, now I'd like, I'd like to add, add the file uploader. So file uploader, I'd like to give a name for the file uploader. Maybe I can use the image, maybe profile image, profile image, and uh, change it to file uploader. So you need to continue. This one going to create a folder for all the files to be uploaded on your Google Drive. So if you go back to the form, you have the form and you have the folder here. It's entitled. I'd like to change the name later, maybe. So you can do the settings here. Maybe I, since this one is only for image, I'd like to specify the file types here and the one file will be fine so you can do the settings here for the file uploader all right so let's try to rename this one looks fine and uh, so everything should be fine for now so at least you have three this uh, input here and you can add more uh, other field you'd like to uh, you'd like to add for your form that will, that's we're going to uh, we are not affect the project all right so since everything is set up, so the next thing you need to do, you need to go to the uh, more add-on, uh, the more buttons here, and uh, go to the script editor. So from today's video, I uh, I will place all my source code on GitHub. Okay, so now you can copy my code from github and uh, you don't need to do you need, don't need to go to my uh, uh, google drive files and copy the code there so since the github is uh, open for everybody so you can get the source code here all right so you need to go to i will put the link up in the video description so you can find it there but you can also search my uh, github account here and the, the repository name should be google app script and for every video i'm going to put it in a separate uh, separate branch as you can see here i have a master branch i have a branch guest dash 058 for today's video so you can get the source, uh, source file here so let's rename this project demo form YouTube so we are saving this project I'd like to go to the, the github repository so for this project only one file you need to copy is this main.js file so you go to this file and uh, copy all of this code Copy to your uh, project here. Replace all of them and save it. And uh, two more things we need to do because if you remember, I have a different name here and a different name for the file uploader. So I need to do some modification in the code. So by default, the folder keyword is called folder and the files keyword is called files. So I need to uh, update uh, both constants here. So for the first one, it should be name for the folder. Name for the next one is called, and uh, let's copy it from here, profile image. OK, so once you've done that, you can save it. You need to save it. And maybe one more thing. If you don't want to share the files with, with the respondent, you can turn this to false. Okay. So let's keep it on and uh, change it to true. And save it. So all the stuff you need to do is done here. 
so you can close this close it here but I like to uh, open this trigger page here if you can see this button uh, like a clock you click it on click it click it it should bring you to the trigger setup page so you have two options here you can set up the trigger manually and you uh, will be able to let, let me refresh this page you should be able to see a uh, add-on icon here yeah it's like this if you if you didn't set up the trigger in your project, you should see a pro uh, add on like this uh, icon here. So you click on it and you should see this uh, app button and uh, you click this create, uh, create trigger function. If it's the first time to run this function, uh, it will going to ask you for the authorization, I think. It's still running, but you also can set up the trigger manually. So, authorization required. So, continue. Choose your account or login with your Google account. And try to allow them to use your data. So now the authorization process is done and you need to do this again. Create trigger. So now this time the trigger has been created successfully. So if you go to go back to the trigger page here, if you refresh this page, yes, you should see a trigger like this. But you also can add it manually here. All right, so if you see the trigger, the, the function name should be underscore on form submit. The event source should be form form, and the event type should be on form submit. All right, so now everything is set up. So let's try to do a test submission. All right, so let's go to this folder. Nothing is here. So let's place an email here. Name and uh, let's put my name here. And I'll upload the image. Upload. And submit. Okay, as you can see, the file is uh, placed in a folder. All right, so I think that's all the functions, uh, and uh, that's all about this project. And uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to use uh, how to do this in another way uh, because there is a better way to do it. Uh, as you can see here, for this simple project, we only have one file uh, for the for the project. But if we have uh, a lot of files for the project, you need to copy them one by one. And uh, maybe you copy something wrong to your project that will come to break your project. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to use a tool called Clasp to uh, column uh, to column my uh, project to your local directory and uh, upload your local file to your Google Apps Script project. So uh, actually, I already ha have a quick guide here. You can check it out. So in the next video, I'm going to give you a demo and uh, to do it uh, with a separate video for this. OK, so I think that's all for today's video. And uh, so now all this code are in GitHub. I think I, you can check it out, uh, check it out anytime you like. All right. So see you next time.
，拜拜。